hello hello and welcome to the channel we are here today at the palmer boat show courtesy of geno yachts to have a look at this new db 37 quite a revolutionary boat in principle because it comes with these massive fold out side decks you can see one here folded up and if we go on board you'll be able to see the other one folded down obviously that works with this big bathing platform to give you an absolute massive outdoor water space so you can see this one's folded down we we'll enter onto the bathing platform and gives you a better understanding or better view of that side deck folded down controllers are over here so you can push a few buttons and that will then come back up as a side deck and look exactly like this one over here you still get the sea gates so you can close those off keep everybody on board but what you also get is this fantastic aft space here you see this table folds so you can fold it in half have it more as a sort of casual coffee table or drinks table and quite logically you'll see the tracks in the floor here so this whole seat section here slides forwards and meets this big table here so you can have four and a half dining also when that seat section moves forward over there on the tracks you can move the backrest the other way around so effectively you have that back seat facing forwards this seat here slid all the way here facing forwards and then those three helm seats all facing forwards obviously once this seat moves out the way you then have access to the galley there's a ceramic hob there little sink in the middle barbecue grill there and then probably fridge storage ice maker down there and I've popped this seat forwards just to give you an understanding of what it looks like in the forward position so with that all the way back everyone's facing forward which is really really great when you're going along I should just pop it back for them the other nice thing is it's got really deep side decks that follow right the way through forward this massive quite stylized hard top that runs forward to the windscreen but doesn't cut in for the side decks forward and then for an extra bit of sun protection at the back here we have this pop out canvas style shade so we're going to take a quick walk forward first and then we'll come back to helm station in a moment deep combings running all the way forward lovely sun area up front with armrests cup holders neat little diamond stitch backrest and now you can see how that superstructure cuts in leaving the side decks open but giving you the ability to completely enclose the aft cockpit area massive one-piece windscreen with decent really decent size wipers that these these bad boys are designed to clear some water go forward again there's a little another perch seat here underneath there you have access to your lockers and I'm gonna guess that underneath one of these be this one is access and illumination for the fore hatch slide that back and then we'll walk back down this side deck which is pretty much exactly the same you see the radar and the domes up there and there's also a ventilation hatch so you can draw air into this area as you're going along I'll do a quick 360 or 180 I suppose technically you'll see that there's side windows in the superstructure as well which puts some extra light down below do apologize for the uh, fire engine helm station here cup holders a little bit of storage in there and then joystick controls obviously the boat comes with Volvo Pentas I think she's got D4 320s on board ship shore radio down there lovely little shelf there for when you're motoring along you can perch up on those seats and then you have this one has a sea keeper stabilizer which is fantastic and then a couple of raymarine glass screens and the usual selection of switches and bits and pieces the lovely thing about these seats is they are they all come with bolsters they all come with armrests 
but they all slide backwards and forwards independently. So if you're just sitting there perching on for the ride, you can sit back. If you're the captain and you want to move a bit further forward so you can get hold of the throttles and the steering, really, really neat. So that's the helm station, and you can now see that massive windscreen and that forward vent. So let's go and have a look down below. This is our view down, and you can see that side superstructure window there giving us a bit of extra light. Three steps down takes us inside. First thing we see on the way down is a second a fridge, the usual bits of storage all over the place and a microwave. First door takes us into the master cabin forward, centre line double berth with easy access around to both sides, a little bit of storage dotted around the place in there, nice big hull windows throwing tons of light into the cabin, that one's obviously closed and there'd be even more light coming in if we didn't have the cushions on the fore deck and the sunshade shut in there. Bit of extra storage behind here. As I said earlier, we are at a boat show, so a lot of this stuff is used for general dumping. And then there's quite a neat little vanity unit behind us here. And then a full-size mirror over there. Just across the companionway here, we have the second cabin. This is quite impressive. So this is under the cockpit sole. I don't know how well you can see that with this light, but it's effectively two double, sorry, two single beds, one there and one there, that you can infill as they've done here with this cushion to make either a vast double bed or just easier to get in and out of those two singles. There's natural light coming in from two hull windows on both sides and also one of those cockpit combing style windows in there as well. And then there's a couple of cupboards on the side there. Another cupboard over there. And then you can see a couple of steps up takes us back into this central companionway where we can see the master switches and the tank gauges. And the last door over here takes us into the shared heads. Again, benefiting from those fantastic hull windows and superstructure windows, all with openness so they'll all vent and let air in and out. A stylish little sink or basin unit. Another mirror over there, probably I'm guessing. Yep, with a bit of storage in it. Heads down there. And behind the door, very decent size. Stand up shower with its own door. So really practical. It's classed as a day boat, really, they were telling me earlier but it's a day boat that still has the capability to overnight, should you need to. So there you go. We shall finish over here admiring this fantastic fold down decking. As I say, the engines would sit, as you can see, under this section here. So here we are at the Palmer Boat Show. Thank you very much to Prestige Yachts for letting us have a look round. Do please like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time round.